what I'm doing. I'll let them do their bands and I'll skip the song so that the next one has sound. I like the two minute silence. Yeah, and the silence will end when your match starts. Lucretio's Lit Fest number 11. This is a round robin match between Lee Luigi and Omega Marth. This is the number 3 on the PR facing a newcomer. Let's see what happens. We're on Smashville for game 1. Generally a good Marth stage, but Luigi's no slouch, especially when it comes to game pick Marth off stage. So we might see a few of those. Now throw to nothing. Ooh, a bit of pressure on Omega here, being forced into that platform ledge. Slapping him. Uh oh. He has to be careful. Marv can go down there and slap up Luigi. Oh, pushes him back with that fireball. That was actually a really good shield, but fireball out of shield isn't probably the best Luigi option, and that's going to take the jump. I don't think he's going to make this one back. Oh man, he did have a jump. Pretty sure I saw him use it. Oh well. Oh, no gimp for Lee. Oh! Omega getting gimps by making a misjudgment. Now Lee back in this. It's the jab grab. Oh, they trade. Wow, oh, head dodges into the air just before landing. Very good. Oh, he's probably gone a bit too far out there. Oh, his second jab to picking counter, and there it is! Jab bear at the side of platforms left at Smashville's platform. Omega taking game one. They're going right back to Smashville, keeping a match up the same. Let's see how Lee does this differently. See what I did there differently? Jab grab again. Oh, that down tilt was huge for Omega. I don't know if. Showing that he's not gonna. Whoa, he got. He fell off. He fell off. Has to be 
very careful getting into this boss range. Oh shit, are you talking? Oh shit, it's muted, my friend. Alright, we've got Mystic joining the mic controllers. Oh. Now we're gonna see a. Uh... Okay, now dead even again. Oh, Lee trying to get the dash back into a second grab. Just barely missing it though. Okay, interesting trade. Still hard to say who's building momentum over the other because there seems to be like an equal presence. So probably I would have to say that Omega's been in center stage more, but Lee at this moment has been really taking advantage of this center stage. And now he's got the up smash to close out the game, making it 1-1. One, one. Omega decides to go back to Smashville. They feel like this is the stage for both of them, I guess. As they continue to adapt to each other. Interesting. Uh, the pairs out of a uh, boss jab. Does have a jump, so that's fortunate for Omega. Ooh, a bit of patience shown there. Very fortunate to know I've got stuck under. They're just standing there, menacingly. What? Oh, landing tornado to catch Omega off guard. I think it's the first one of this set so far as well. Uh, only up till? Surprised he didn't up smash. Up smash would definitely have killed. Maybe he felt he didn't have time. He has to be careful. Marv Sword is gonna clean, clean this whole area right now. I'll be in a second. Oh. Okay, pushes him back with the up smash. Well, they ended at the same time. And there's the up smash! Right. Lee, finally in the lead. Lead! See what I did there? Lead! <laughs> oh, here comes Lee. Oh, no! He manages to... Ah, 
Ah, uh, you guys shut up in the chat. Let me commentate. Oh wow, Omega going all the way. Oh, another tornado landing. Woo! Lee now 2 1 over Omega. It would be a significant loss for Omega if he loses. That's lots of points for Lee. Omega switching to Rosalina and Luma. Town and City for his counter pick. It's going to be very scary for Lee here. I wonder if Lee knows this MU. We shall find out in the next episode of Lucretio's Lip Fest. Oh! Oh no! His jump! Only 7%! Is Omega gonna push me out forever? Wow, that hit? He's showing patience. Triple fair now. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Lee keeping it very good right now. Not trying to take too much damage. Oh, that was a that was a sneaky Luma shot right there. Alright, shows the Luma. Ooh! Jeez, this man! Does Lee know of TP mode? That was scary, that probably would have killed. Gosh, he needs to get past this Luma somehow. Oh, mate. oh he might have overdone it slightly. Oh, there's the back throw and there's the death. 81% on Lee. Will Omega close this out in time? Or will Lee make the comeback that he's looking for? Let's see in the next episode of Disadvantage Day. It's so scary! Oh no, he spot dodges! The pressure is too much! Omega trying to scare this man to death! Literally! Literally! <laughs> I could keep this up all day! Oh! Yeah, a little bit of tricksy movement, but 19% only on Omega, so it's looking strong for him. Just needs one more strong hit confirmed, but oh my! Death off the top. Omega strongly taking game two, I, I mean game four, I'd say. And now we're going to head into my favorite situation, a game five situation. And I know they're going to go to last of last year. I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. I'm gonna call it after the set so that I get started more at the same time.
pass magic? <laughs> oh! Lee Cloud! We're on battlefield for this final match! But he has to be careful! Cloud wins this MU very strongly, however! Go it! Yes! It's gonna be difficult to handle Omega's pressure because Omega is gonna put himself into TPO mode. Oh! Bad start for Lee. Oh, he's gone all the way out there! No! Unfortunate for Lee, but unfortunate for Omega. He takes it 3 2. Damn! Right, we'll just go back.